10 lessons, we'll be focusing on strategies to answer all of the IELTS reading question types and we'll begin with short answer questions. I won't have lesson know-its for the following lessons as they will be the same for each of these question type strategies. So let's move on to have a look at short answer basics. The short answer question is quite a common question type in the IELTS reading test and there's a pretty good chance that you might see it in your test too. You must make sure that you stay within the word count limit which is given to you in the instructions. It will be a maximum of up to three words for your answer which needs to be copied exactly from the text. Often the answers will be found in order in the text so that means that the answer to question one will be followed in the text by two, three, four and whatever else. Let's move on to see an example of a short answer question. Here we have a short reading passage and I recommend pausing the video and spending some time reading through it to answer the question below. I'll read through the short answer question to you now. Answer the questions below using no more than three words from the passage for each answer. Write your answer on the answer sheet. So, number one, what island is PP Lay located near? How many islands make up PP? And how does the article describe the water there? So remember to keep your answers under three words and also remember that the answers will be in order in the text. I'll give you some time now to try and find the answers to these questions. So if you need more time, please pause the video. I'll show you my strategy and answers now. So number one, what island is PP Lay located near? And that is Phuket. How many islands make up PP? Either six or six small islands, remembering that I'm staying under the three word limit. How does the article describe water there? And crystal clear. You can see that my answers are copied exactly with the correct spelling from the passage above. Let's take a look at the strategies for answering short answer questions. So, read the instructions very carefully and check the word limit. You must stay under this to get any marks at all. Read the questions carefully and skim and scan for key words. That's both in the questions and in the passage. And remember, you can underline key phrases and information. Use your knowledge of synonyms to spot likely answers. For example, if there is something that says housing, think of synonyms for that, such as residential. Make sure you answer within the word limit. And make sure your answer again is spelt correctly, exactly as in the text. So that's it really for strategies for answering short answer questions. Remember to have a quick look at the questions first, spot key information and then move on to the passage and try and locate where the information to answer the questions would be. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at strategies for answering multiple choice questions. See you there.